yes then what is going on um yeah welcome back to another video um this week we're going to be talking about uh five tips for mixing down drums i've been really looking forward to doing this one um because there's yeah there's some things that i think everyone can get something out of um beginner to intermediate you know i think every, you know someone can take something from this uh that'd be good uh, once again um thanks for uh subscribing for those of you that subscribe and liking the videos um it really means a lot um but yeah let's get straight into it um first one first one is buses and sends so yeah it's it's really important to put your to put your drums in a bus and a send because it just um it just it enables it to have like a it's like a blanket um it just puts it in one place so you can treat all your drums like a drum kit um just like an acoustic drum kit like a normal drum kit sort of thing so um it's got uh, 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 some drums from an old track it's called lost world i won't play the full tune because uh it might get done for copyright so we're just gonna done we're just gonna do the drum i'm just gonna have a solo of the drums today hopefully that won't get done for copyright um yeah, so on here I've got um, an old Waves limiter because this is an older tune. I used to use the Waves L2 limiter. Um, yeah, this is like a kind of like a trusty steed, you know. It's kind of like one of those old limiters. Um, and I've also got an analyzer, uh, just a Waves analyzer as well. Um, and yeah, you just gonna want to your, your your kick is there, your snit, you know, you can, you can see your peaks there. Um, you want them. I usually have them depends on the tune really sort of around the same around the same sort of height there um and then i've got this one going to ascend which is like a it's just kind of like um it's kind of just got like um a bit of a a, a a reverb a drum room reverb on there from waves um the old camel fat trick um where you just have a blank camel fat and it kind of just acts like a ceiling I don't do that so much anymore, um, but it did used to, I used to really get on with it. Um, uh, saturation and a couple of uh, EQs on there. Um, but yeah, that's the that's the, the basics of the send really. Um, and yeah, next tip, we're gonna go, so rolling the transients. This one's really important as well. They're all kind of as important as, of, as each other. Um, but yeah, you got, uh, so say this one, for example, yeah. I've said it in a previous video. You just go onto here, you go onto the regions bit there, and then the fade in bit there, that's your that's your transients there, just to get rid of that harsh, just to roll that harsh bit there. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it just, it's really important for headroom. Um, and it just gives you, yeah, it just makes, makes your mix a bit cleaner and it's just gonna be, you're going to be able to get your overall tune louder um and that's that's what we that's what we want guys um yeah uh so that is that um also uh oh no we'll move on to that in the in one of the next tips we'll go in order none of these are um none of these are more important than the other they're kind of all as important as 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 each other do you know what i mean um yes number three pitch in your drums um yeah this is important i kind of uh yeah i was speaking to uh decimal bass from annex they used to uh he used to help me out um or just give me some like just some tips like where like a, a couple of years ago he'd just say you know pitch pitch your drums and sometimes that it'd be best for it to be put in midi like this as i said in the previous video as well focusing on the snare um yeah and it just keeps it all uh you just know that you've got it got it pitched sort of thing um, and if you don't know if it's in the same pitch or not with your ears, um, just use a, get your, um, wow, well, look at that peak there. You know, that's that's going to be cutting through, isn't it? <laughs> uh, and you can just analyze, you can just see like where it's hitting. Um, so you can, you can kind of, um, yeah, you can kind of just get it from that if you don't, um, if you're not sure of what you're hearing. Uh, so that's pitching. Same goes for your kick as well. Um, yeah, you, you you're gonna want to make sure that's that's pitched and and pitched to your sub as well. 
because you're talking about mixing down your kick and your snare needs to needs to go with your sub you know like that's the main that's where you're going to be having like issues you know so um, so pitching your kick to your sub is going to help you out with that um and okay so we're on number four now uh yeah frequency analyzer these are really important um kind of touched on this in rule <laughs> in rule number one actually um but yeah so you got you got this one here or um logic actually do a really good one oh, where are you um yeah the multimeter i saw this on, um i got this uh i saw turno using this actually big up turno uh, on one of his videos and yeah, once I see music, I, I started using it myself and I actually really, I get on with it more than the Waves one. So um, I would use, I would actually use this one, uh, really. I find it's good because it shows you, you see like where you can see how your kick, it shows you like real time how, uh, how much of a release your kick has got on it. You, know, it, you see that roll there? And then you can just sort of go if you if you want a shorter tail on your kick, you can just go in here, go to the flex, as I said in my snare video before, and then just uh, just chop. Well, make sure it's make sure it's on flex. Uh, and yeah, you can just just go ahead and and sort of shorten it, and and, and your tail here will will probably get a bit. Well, not probably, it will do. Um, but uh, and yeah, so that's that's. Uh, that's a frequency analyzer. Uh, that's number four. What was rule number five? Ah, yes. Probably, um, yeah, so rule number five is, uh, well, not rules, sorry, not rules, tip. Tip number five. These are not rules. These are, yeah, at all. Um, don't layer, don't layer for the sake of it. Like, some of these samples that you, that you find, they're just going to work. Like, this kick, like, this kick just works, you know, like, it, it was, this kick is was everything I wanted it to be. I don't know. It's just it's from a sample pack, but you know if it doesn't need a layer, don't slave over it giving it a layer. I haven't even I haven't even EQ'd it actually. Um, yeah, it just um, it just cut it. It done the job. It it cut through the mix. Why add another layer when it's got all of the? You know, if you check on the um, Get a, get a thing up. Look at that. It's just kind of full bodied, you know. You, you, you know what you're looking for, and that, that's what you want. That's what you want, and it cuts through the mix. Don't layer if it doesn't need it. Um, uh, and yeah, that's, I'd say that's, you know, just as important as the rest of them. That's just as important as layering, really, I'd say. <clears throat> um, but yeah, I think, I think that makes five. Um, so just a quick. Yeah, it's just a quick uh, video this week. Um, and yeah, thank you uh, for tuning in. I hope this has helped. Um, please let me know in the comments what you want to see more of um, or what you want to see less of. Um, and yeah, I hope this has helped. Uh, I'm going to eat a mince pie now. And um, yeah, until next week, big up. Peace.